The following video describes the insertion technique of the VBM cryocothyrotomy kit called Sajikrik No. 3 according to the Seldinger technique. The kit is sterile packed. An overview of the instruction for use is enclosed outside the sterile packaging. On the clean surface, open the pouch and unfold the sterile drape. The components of the kit are exposed in their respective compartments. The instruction for use can be placed in front of the user. A functional check should be carried prior to use. Inflate the cuff of the tracheal tube and check for leakage. Deflate the cuff completely. The first step is essential for a successful outcome of the technique. The operator stands behind the patient's head. With the non-dominant hand the cryocothyroid membrane is located and the area is stabilized to perform the needle puncture. The needle is held in the dominant hand and inserted in the cryocothyroid membrane through the skin. The needle is positioned in the caudal direction and a great care is observed to avoid perforation of the posterior wall of the trachea. The position of the needle is checked simultaneously by aspirating air with a syringe. Once the correct position is assumed, the catheter is inserted along the needle until the flange rests on the neck. The needle is then removed. Thanks to the neck tape, the catheter can be fixed. Oxygenation with the resuscitation bag can be started via the 15mm connector. Oxygenation can also be performed via Lua Lock connector and Manu Jet. The guide wire is inserted through the catheter and advanced up to the 20cm graduation mark. The position is visualized with two black marks on the guide wire. The sleeve of the guide wire is then removed. The catheter is removed whilst holding the guide wire in place. A small horizontal incision on each side of the guide wire is performed in order to facilitate the insertion of the dilator. The dilator is railroaded over the guide wire and inserted into the trachea. The guide wire should be maintained on the proximal end to avoid any uncontrolled insertion. Once the tracheal tube has been inserted, the guide wire can be removed. The correct position of the tracheal tube can be checked by aspirating air through the dilator. The adjustable flange allows the tube to be positioned correctly. The cuff of the tracheal tube is inflated. The dilator is removed from the tube. The tube is connected to a ventilation system and the patient is ventilated. The tracheal tube is fixed with the neck tape. The enclosed catheter mount gives more flexibility to the connection and allows suction without interrupting ventilation.